We're working back attacks in the gi this week. Next week, no gi, attacks, and then escapes. I'm gonna forewarn you, your neck's gonna feel really bad for the next few days with the gi burn from the chokes, right? We're gonna talk a little bit about control, so we're gonna talk a little theory real quick. Okay, just where we wanna kind of be in the back. So I'm gonna start with him seated upright, but I've got my hooks in and I've got my seatbelt, right? This is gonna be like the basic back control. You want active hooks, so I'm using these, right? Hooks are not lazy and I'm not crossing here. If I cross, he can bring his legs over my ankle. Let's have my foot break my ankle. I also in a tournament setting will not get points for this, okay? I will get points for hooks and upper body control. This is pretty much like the universal back control because everyone can get to this point. So for example, a body triangle in most tournament settings would not reward you points until you get here, right? Because not everyone can get to a body triangle or is flexible enough. But once you've got points and you have this control, you can transition to body triangles, to half back, whatever you feel comfortable with, right? So I've got my hooks. Something else I wanna think about is my seatbelt. So I don't wanna grab my forearms and cinch in like I'm giving you know Kevin the Heimlich and my elbows are loose. I really want you to think about using your elbows to control his upper body and shoulder. So this elbow is gonna cinch into the shoulder and this one underneath the armpit. So now this is kind of icing on the cake, right? I have good control. Kevin can feel the difference from here to just this, okay? So I've got this control and then I can grip my wrist slash forearm and I bring my head to his head. I wanna make sure that I have my alignment correct. Chest to back. I can still control his back even if I don't have hooks. If I do lo lose my hooks for some reason, as long as I have this good alignment and control, I can still hang on, right, and retain the back, okay? Ideally, I want hooks, but I just want you guys to understand I don't wanna be like off-center. I really wanna be in alignment, okay? Overhook side is the positive, underhook is the negative. We're gonna work from the positive side today, okay? One is not better than the other. The positive side, you're falling into the choking arm, right? So some people will look at that as that might be a little more ideal because they're falling into the choke, right? Especially if we're doing like rear nakeds. There's a lot of attacks if you fall to the negative side, okay? So you just have to see what you're comfortable with. On the positive side, my head is gonna sandwich his head with the mat. On the negative side, my head wants to stay on the side of the mat. We're gonna talk about one of my favorite chokes um, is the double lapel. Oh. We're gonna do this seated. Dave loves it. So, something handy here. I'm not gonna try and come in and just bunch all this material. I'm gonna use the underhook side to help create a handle and pass it to my overhook side. So I'm just gonna <laughs> fold the lapel over. I'm gonna bring my thumb in right towards the collarbone. My thumb should be touching the collarbone. And then I just grip, forefinger grip. So I don't want it super deep because this is gonna feel real weird on my wrist when I start pulling it back. And too shallow or too loose is not enough, right? So I find the collarbone, here I am. The second grip is gonna come on the opposite lapel anywhere. It could get low, I don't need to get high, right? Just low, but I'm pulling this down and taut because that's gonna help on the one side of the carotid, apply the pressure, right? For the choke. So I'm showing you seated, but of course we're gonna be on the positive side here. So I'm gonna fall, right, to the side. When I'm in my seatbelt, I'll start transitioning and passing the lapel, right? I get my second grip. Now this is a tip that my coach would always show. I need to cut out the slack here. A lot of people where they'll go wrong with this choke is they'll just start trying to straighten their arms and extend and get the choke here. And they wonder why they can't get it, right? I also want you to be mindful of your hooks. I don't want lazy hooks, right? If you feel more comfortable switching to like a half back or body triangle, different control at this point, you can, but I'm using the hooks. And then I always use my hips to help extend the person. So I'm thrusting my hips into him. That'll help in a lot of rear naked chokes and stuff to get under the chin a little more talk about that more next week but as I'm here what I'm gonna do is draw this elbow back 
while I pull the lapel with me, I'm pulling down on this one, and my shoulder comes forward behind his head. That's super tight already. Now I stretch back, straighten my arms, and there's the choke. So I'm cutting this slack out, which is making it really, really tight. You good? I'm good. Okay, making it tight. Night, night. And then I'm going to ex fully extend my arms. When I extend, I'm pulling down and I'm pulling this around. Okay? Classic double lapel. So we're here. Boom. Got my seat belt. Fall. Grip. I come up. My shoulder and chest are blocking his head. People might tap here already. Then I straighten my arms and I thrust my hips forward. I'm pulling so the blade of my wrist ends up coming around on the other side as I pull this lapel around his neck. Right, and this one's super taut, so it's gonna help the choke. Maybe I'm falling to this side and I'm trying to get my grip, but Kevin, right, starts shifting to the negative side, right? He's trying to like move me over and I can't like come up and he's readjusting me. I don't have to let go of these grips. I could still pull it off, but I can't cut out the slack here, right? So what I'm gonna do is put a foot in the hip, bring this shin or calf across his hips, and then you could just come out and pull here, but I like to come over the shoulder and then pull. So I'm controlling his arm and shoulder and upper body so I can kind of turn him a little bit to help assist me in the choke. It gives me a little bit of a better angle. Okay, so we're here. So obviously, I can get this grip and I can fall, right, to the negative side. Or if I was on the positive side trying to go for this choke and he shifts me, which people will do, right, to try and get out of it, he might shift me to this side, right? I'm trying to keep my head in between, right, the mat and his head. I'm gonna push him down into this hole, bring the cap across. This already makes it tight. I like to come over. I bring my heel right on the inside of his elbow. And then I'm gonna pull, pull down, and pull back towards me. We're gonna talk about our bow and arrow series. Yay. We're gonna talk about, I named these all. We're gonna talk about the baby bow, oh. the traditional bow, and the mean bow. The mean bow is Jay. So we're here, same thing. I'm always trying to feed this as soon as I can. Do yourself a favor and flip it over so you get the handle. This is funky, okay? Good grip, you wanna start out good. So I start falling to this side, right? I wanna maybe go for this double lapel, trying to go to the positive side. He starts escaping, right? If he starts to escape, no problem. I'm gonna come up, right? I pull the elbow back, draw it back, just like I would in that double lapel, but remember this guard retention drill, right? Or I keep calling it guard retention, the back retention drill. Heel to the hip. I'm in triple attack position, okay? My shin is folded in. I'm gonna loosen up on this for Kevin for a second here. But something that's really important here is that my elbow gets shelved on my hip, on my thigh. If I'm too loose, he's gonna just pop his head out, right? So I need to keep it tight. So I pull it back. Now, I cinch in so he can't shift out onto his back. I'm controlling his hip. I can then let go of this grip. Baby bow. I'm grabbing his knee, the gi pants here. We're in the gi, I can grab the pants. I'm not gonna grab his thigh, I'm not gonna grab his hips. Kevin's strong, it's gonna be really hard to lift there and get leverage, right? So I grab the knee, and then I'm gonna thrust my hips forward, look straight ahead, I don't need to look down at him, as I straighten this arm, but I'm driving my hips into him. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of scared. So, that was baby bow. <laughs> we'll go through them all in this sequence, but that was hilarious. So we're here. I fall, right? I'm trying to do the double lapel. He starts escaping. Oh boy, I better get after that, right? I got to transition to a better position. Heel in, next to the hip. Come in, grab the knee. Just like that. Baby bow, okay? We'll give Kevin a second to breathe. It's be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You good? You pay yeah. a hostage note. So now what I can do, if I don't like the baby bow, right, or can't transition to that, I'll still grip here. I'm going to fold this back leg in, just like when we were doing the back retention drill, right? If I'm here, I'm going to sit back on my leg, and it's going to feel really funky, right? 
I need to clear the space so that I can sit to my butt. Right? Make sense? So now, I pull him with me, bring my leg out. We're doing the traditional. I bring my leg over his shoulder. I can either use my hamstring really heavy and just push my leg flat away from me towards the wall, or I can cross my ankles here. When I'm controlling his shoulder, he can't move here. Okay, so this is a little more controlled. Now, I'm pulling him back just like the bow. I'm the arrow, right? Just like that. Okay, so my hamstring, my hips shifting forward, but I'm arching him. Okay, so I'm pulling him towards me this way, right? Pulling him this way and driving the leg, okay? If we wanna see the mean bow, okay, I'm gonna take my shin. I'm gonna step, just like Ling, I'm gonna step up my shin behind his neck. So my shin, is gonna push his head even tighter into the choke, right? So I'm here, I've got this grip. I come up, step my foot up, sit. See my shins behind his neck? Okay, so I have that leverage there. So we have baby, traditional, and then me, okay? So here, come in, so he starts escaping. Come up, I draw the elbow back. This puts pressure on his head so he can't fully escape. I use my chest, remember, behind his back. Come in, cinch in. Knee, boom, right? Then I can sit back, cross, traditional. Should have done the other one first. Here, mean one, shin, just like that. So we're making their body that in that nice arched bow position, okay? And you are the arrow, so we already threw. Give it a try. One, two, three.